Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Learning to Smoke. My name is Dan, thanks for coming along here. Smoked mac and cheese is the ultimate comfort food and it makes a perfect side dish for any barbecue that you do. Smoked mac and cheese is super easy to make and I wanna show you the process. In order to make this smoked mac and cheese recipe, here are all the ingredients that you're gonna need. We'll go through them here during the video. But one thing I like to do is grate the cheese. So you'll see I'm grating cheddar cheese here. I prefer to grate the cheese myself instead of buying it already pre-grated at the store. And the reason for being is when you buy it like that in the bags, it's gonna have some anti-caking agents on there, which are gonna make it not as easy to melt. As you see here, I just grated some Gouda cheese and I grated a little too much, but that's okay. Cause I'll just take some and set it aside for another dish later. But now I'm also gonna grate the Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna do about a cup worth of that. And I'm gonna scoop that up into the different cups and set aside for later. So that was also two cups of Gouda and about four cups of cheddar cheese. Important step here, boil those noodles. So you wanna make sure you cook those up. I've got some elbow macaronis. And now keep in mind that when you buy these from different companies, different brands, they're all gonna have different cook times. This one only takes six minutes. And as I get that boiling, make sure to stir it around so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And once it's done, just go ahead and pour it into a colander to drain the water. And once that's done, let's take those noodles and put them into a foil pan. This foil pan's about nine by 11. And pro tip, if the noodles are gonna be sitting around for a while, put in something like olive oil to help uh, keep it loose and mix that around in there. I like to do that because yeah, it will keep the noodles from sticking together. Now it's time to make the cheese sauce. And so what we're gonna do is take a stick of butter and melt that in there, looking about medium heat or so. And if you wanna melt that butter quicker, just break it up as you can see me doing right here. And the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna combine this with flour to make a roux. And a roux is a base that you use for making sauces, soups, things like that. And as you can see, we're gonna add in a fourth cup of flour to mix that around and that's gonna help make this butter flour mixture thicken up. Make sure to mix that well together because we wanna make sure that we don't have any lumps in there. We don't have any flour that's unmixed. We wanna make sure that it's just one smooth mixture and it's a little thick too. So you'll notice as I'm stirring that up that it's starting to thick up quite a bit. See? Now I'm adding some seasonings. I've got two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of pepper and it's gonna get even thicker. And now it's time to add in the heavy cream and we're gonna add in two cups of heavy cream, and we're also gonna add in one cup of milk. Now, keep in mind that when you add in these products, it's gonna be cold, and so it's gonna take a little bit longer to get up to temperature, so sometimes I like to kick it up to medium high, just to help get it to that little simmering boil that I want. And you'll see that as we do that, we mix it around together, and we're gonna add in the cheese once it gets to that boiling part like we see here, that simmering boil. So I'm adding in all the cheese that I've got from what I grated earlier. So I've got the four cups of cheddar, I've got two cups of Gouda, and then I'm gonna add in most of the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna save a little bit for topping it at the end. And now I'm gonna mix this all together. And as you stir it, make sure that you stir until it's all smooth. And once that's been done, go ahead and we'll take it over to the noodles. And as you can see, these noodles have been sitting out for a little bit, but they're not sticking together. Thanks to that olive oil I did earlier. And now we're gonna pour on that cheese sauce, that thick, creamy cheese sauce there on the top. And once I've got all that out there, I'm gonna stir it around. And I'm also gonna just mix it from top to bottom and even go side to side in that, just to make sure I get an even blend of the cheese and the noodles in there. And once I've mixed that all together, I'm gonna top this pan of mac and cheese with some chilies and smoke Sedona sand seasoning. So this is my friend Brad. Follow his YouTube channel, Chilies and Smoke. He's got some good rubs too and some good recipes but I'm gonna top that with some seasoning, just a little bit, and I'm also gonna add in some of the cheeses I had left over. Had a little bit of cheddar cheese left over, throw in the rest of that Parmesan, and then I'm also taking some crushed pretzel crumbs for a little crunch on the top. My grill is set at 250 degrees, indirect heat. Use whichever smoking wood you want for that, but I'm using oak today. And we let it cook for about an hour. So while we're waiting for that mac and cheese to cook, I'm gonna actually field some of your questions that you have sent in. Well, actually, it's just me just writing down questions on pieces of paper, but I wouldn't make it look like it was interactive, like the audience is participating. But honestly, if you wanna leave comments, you got questions about this, feel free to do so. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, but yeah, definitely comment and let me know what questions you have and I'll answer the best I can. So anyway, the first fake question I got here, can you smoke this on a pellet grill like a Traeger? Absolutely. 
Yes, you can smoke it on there. That's typically what I do. Today in this video, I'm doing it on the Big Green Egg uh, just because I like that it gives a little stronger smoke flavor to it. Pellet grill is great for it. Quick and easy to start up and uh, get going. So yeah, do what you want. Okay, next question. Can I substitute mozzarella for Gouda? If that's what you want to do, yes. Mozzarella is going to be cheaper. It's going to be more melty uh, than Gouda is, but I like the flavor of Gouda and I had some on hand, so that's what I used. But I know people who use different types, but I really love the combination of cheddar, Gouda, and Parmesan together. Next question from Dan in Utah. Can I make this mac and cheese recipe in my oven? You can make the mac and cheese in the oven. If that's what you've got, then do it. You just won't get that smoke flavor, but it's still an excellent recipe whether you do it in the oven or on the smoker. Shells or elbows? Yes. Last question here, what goes well with mac and cheese? A lot of things go well with smoked mac and cheese. I love having it with pulled pork, brisket, ribs, chicken, turkey, sausage even. Smoked sausage is awesome, but you can have it with anything. I mean, it, uh, you can have it with most things. Anything that you normally have mac and cheese with, have it with it. But as far as barbecuing goes, I do love it with those classic proteins. Hey Dan, how can I get a cool apron like you wear in all your videos? That's easy. Go ahead and click the link down in the caption and you'll find Headley and Bennett. Those are the aprons that I use. You'll notice I use different styles. I absolutely love these things. They're my favorite aprons, but go ahead and click on that. And I believe you get about 10, 15% off when you do. So give it a shot. Now that it's been an hour on the Big Green Egg at 250 degrees, I'm gonna pull this mac and cheese off. The great thing about this recipe is that you don't have to lift the lid and stir this every few minutes or so. Just let it cook while it's on the grill and pull it off and then we're gonna take it back to the table and start serving it up. Now, I let it rest just a little bit because it's gonna be piping hot coming out of the grill. But as you scoop that up into a bowl, just take a look at how delicious and creamy this is. I wish you could smell it too because that's also the other element to it. But one thing I love to do with mac and cheese is to add in some pulled pork. I had some leftover pulled pork that I'm gonna to top it with. And then I'm also gonna take some barbecue sauce from Hey Grill Hay. It's their everything barbecue sauce and just drizzle that on top. And I think it makes for a perfect meal. Now that we're back, uh, I did add some pulled pork and some barbecue sauce to this. So let's give it a taste, shall we? It doesn't need the pulled pork or the barbecue sauce. It's great as it is. I sampled it before, I know. But anyway, I love doing it this way though. You can have pulled pork mac and cheese like this, or even just have smoked mac and cheese by itself. You can taste the blend of different cheeses in there, that kiss of smoke flavor from the oak wood that I used on the Big Green Egg. Thanks for watching and learning to smoke. This is Dan Phelps signing off, and may your days be full of good times, good friends, and good barbecue. 100 degrees, I'm getting out of this heat. And I'll bring the egg with me. All right, so now that we're back, flies. Shoo. Anyway, 